Hello and welcome to a new Google Sheets video in Practical Sheets. Today, I'm going to fix the FIFO system. Actually, I'm going to remake it from zero uh, because I found some mistakes and some of you in the comments of one of the last videos of FIFO system have found some errors. I'm not going to explain here in what consists the FIFO system. This I let it for, for the other video, but here I think we do a much better version and that doesn't have mistakes, hopefully. I hope you like it and if you like it, especially in these kind of complex videos, it's better uh, to go to the main source, to the template. You can find the Patreon page and in practicalsheets.com, if you subscribe, you can find the template and you can start from there so you don't have to follow me 30 minutes um, bam babbling, okay? So that out of the way, let's begin. So we're going to change this one from accumulated purchases to total purchases. And what I'm going to do is do some if, and I'm going to sum. The condition I'm going to look for is in my input sheet, I'm going to look for the product. That is the same product, okay? And what I'm going to sum is the units. That's it, nothing more. So this is seven for the Pixies poster. I've only bought one time seven, so this is it. But if I uh, bring it down, for example, this Mastodon t-shirt, I've bought total seven. In this particular, I bought two. Okay, so now let's do the same, but for sales. So I'm just going to copy this, paste it here, and I'm going to change input or output in both. So let's see Pixies poster, if, if we are right. Pixies. So I think I don't have a, any sales. This is why I'm getting this error that I could fix in the future. Let's sell one of the Pixies poster. So PO005, and I'm going to sell one. This is it. And it doesn't matter anymore the, the location. Well, actually for the stock, it does matter. So let's go here. Again, I'm going to choose Pixies. And now I have it, seven and one. And if I go to my FIFO, okay, I have seven and one. Perfect. Okay. This is the base case. The base case is, is where I only have one batch bought and I haven't sold enough. So this would be active. Okay, let's call this batch status active. Now we're, we're going to devise a formula. Then this is the second case is where my units bought are less than my sales and less than my purchases. Okay, this means that this batch is not currently being used. So this is, let's call this depleted. Case number two. Here I have third case. Wizard hoodie, let's go here. Let's select here, wizard hoodie. Okay, so here, I bought eight, but I only sold four. So I'm still in my uh, first batch. So this is the active one, okay? So this would be active also. My tool t-shirt, I've bought 12, but I've sold three. And given that the first two I bought, I've already sold them, sold the three. So this, I would call it depleted also. Now let, let's fill all of them. So the Nirvana poster will be active. The Pearl Jam poster will be active. I haven't sold anything. The Alice in Chains poster is active. Metallica poster, I've bought eight and I only sold two. So this is also active. Incubus is also active. Let's go through all of them. But first I need to drag this down. So here, this is also depleted. Active, active, active. This is a nice one because I'm buying three, so now I have eight, but in the past I've bought five and I've only sold four. So this means that this is not being used. This is like a future batch that I'm not using. So I'm going to call this future, okay? So this is my, my third status. I have active, I have depleted, and I have future. This Metallica poster is the same. I bought in total 11, but I only sold two. So this would also be future. Now let's go to these red hot chili peppers that I used in the last example. I bought five, but I've already sold more than five. So this is depleted. Then I bought another six that I've already bought 
uh, sold because I've sold 22. So this is depleted. Then the same here, five plus six plus seven, this is 18. So this is also depleted. Now I have this other eight. So if I add this, I have 26, that is more than 22. So it's less than my purchases, but it's more than my sales. So this means this is the active one. And finally, I have one. When I add all of these, this would be 29. So this is a units number 27, 28, and 29. And I've only sold 22. This means that this is the future one. Okay? So now I need to devise a formula that gives me the correct answer each time. So let's begin with some ifs, if statements, okay? So the first one could be that if my units are greater than my total sales, then let's give this the active. Okay, for now, let's start this one. Active, let's close this without a quotation mark without a parenthesis, okay? So you can see that in all that are active, it works perfect. I have here one problem with the future, okay? So this is when C2 greater than H2, but let's see one that it's wrong here because C2 is greater than H2, okay? But if I get my total purchases that are 11 and I subtract the total sales, 11 minus two gives me nine. This means that I have nine in stock, but here I also have three. So if this number nine is greater than three, then this means that it's in the future. So I can put another condition and it is that if subtracting the sales from the purchases is less or equal than three, then this should be in the future. So the formula would be if I subtract from the purchases, the total sales, and this is greater than this number I have bought in this batch, then this will be the future, a future batch, okay? Apparently it works. Now let's drag it up and drag it down to see that the other one continues to work. However, now the depleted one is not working. The depleted one needs a special formula. And what I want to know is that the sum of all purchases made up until this date are less or equal than my total sales. This means that I've sold all of the batches before this one. So for this, I need to do a special sum. So I'm going to sum. Sum if B2 to B4, where it's equal to wizard hoodie. And what I'm going to add are the units, okay? But the thing I'm going to leave absolute is the first data, B2, so that when I drag down, B2 stays fixed and C4 goes down. This is not a, this is not money, this is just number. Okay, so this is what I'm adding. So for example, let's see one that is repeated. Here, Mastodon t-shirt, it's seven because it's adding five plus two. And this wizard hoodie is eight because it's adding this three plus this five. Okay. So what I'm going to do now is to bring this sum if and put it in this formula I was doing. So what I'm going to say is that if, if this sum if is less than total sales, then let's call this depleted. And that's it. So I think this would be less or equal because if it's equal, it means that we don't have any stock left up until that purchase or until that batch. Okay. Now the only one I'm missing is this one, the active one. Why? No, no match where, let's see here. Also less or equal than here. If I add red hot chili peppers, if I add all of them, it gives me 26, which is greater than the sales. Okay, so this H24, so this is greater, so this is false, perfect. So it's go to depleted. And then 
and look at this it's also false because total purchases that is 29 minus total sales that is 22 this is 7 and 7 is no greater than 8 yeah so this is not the future perfect and now the third condition is the c24 is greater than h24 and it's also not greater than actually we can remove this condition and put maybe uh, a true and that's it let's see if this works i'm going to drag this down and drag this up and apparently it's working except for this one future this metallica poster i've sold this is eight units i bought here and total i bought 11 so actually this should be active and why it's giving future because g9 minus h9 this is 9 is greater than c9 greater than 8 and the final condition for this to be true so we could add another condition here in the future say and and the other condition will be that the purchases up until now so it's the same sum if but without uh, the current one so minus this one so that the purchases for this to be future should be greater than the total sales greater than these total sales that's it i have to close the parentheses here that's it okay now apparently i think it may work let me check here and let's drag it down perfect so apparently it works maybe i have to do a couple of other test so now what i'm going to do is i'm going to put this bash status here i'm going to delete all all of these two columns and i'm going to drag down these um formulas down but i need last condition if they if and is that if this is empty then leave this other one empty also so let's put it here if a25 is empty then just leave it empty and that's it so if i drag this down it works perfectly and i'm going to do the same for the other ones here and here and let's drag this down actually ctrl shift down and ctrl d so that i have my formula and the same for this cost ctrl shift down and ctrl d but for not leaving it with zeros we're going to do the same let's paste this if close it and ctrl shift down and ctrl d okay so apparently now this works so i'm going to leave it like this come back in a few days and do maybe some other uh, tests so that this is working nicely so uh, just let me try it a couple of times and see if it's working i don't know if this is working the cost because this is some if b2 i'm summing c actually this should be i should be summing d that is the cost so i think i actually need another column called remaining stock that it depends on this batch status I, as i have it before i'm going to put it down here so if this is active then i'm going to sum all the purchases until now as as i've done in the past with this sum if this one uh, when it's wizard hoodie then let's sum the units and to this i'm going to subtract the total sales and i think that's it so in this case i have five and i subtract four let me this here but remember i need to fix this one I, uh, this b2 i could do it with f4 but i need to remove this from b4 so when i drag it down it drags down the the four up to five to six to seven etc okay so let's drag it up to see how it works so here it's six perfect let's do one that has more 
let's see one that has depleted. For example, this Mastodon t-shirt. Let's go to another Mastodon t-shirt here. Uh, this is also depleted. Uh, where do I have it? Here, this Red Hot Chili Peppers. So I have total sales 22, but until now I bought 26 minus 22. This is four, excellent. So I have four and this I'm going to uh, value them at this cost, cost price. So this is seven times four, okay? So we have the active nailed down. Depleted will always be zero because this is a stock I'm no longer using. So if J3 equals to, let's put it here, J3 equals to depleted. Actually, this shouldn't be an if, but an ifs. So if this is depleted in caps, although this is not case sensitive, so it doesn't matter, then this will be zero, okay? Again, let's drag it up and drag it down. Now, missing future. Future is easy because future is all the units. Because when it's future is that it hasn't sold even one. Okay? So, last case. If J18, I could also this with a switch, no? This, but actually, it's maybe easier. Future. If this is future, then you just get the units. Finally, I need to put an, an error, and is that if A25 equals to nothing, then just leave it as nothing. Okay, let's drag it again up, and let's go Control shift down two times, Control d perfect. Okay, and finally, I'm going to multiply the remaining stock times the cost price. That's it. Let's drag this down again, Control shift down, Control d but let's give this if error, drag it down, this here. Okay, so let's drag this down, Control shift down, Control t Okay, I'm going to drag it up. It's much, much easier. I didn't do it on purpose, but it's much, much easier if, if you copy it from the template in the Patreon page. Uh, so you don't repeat all my mistakes. So this is it. Now let's go to our stock and uh, here I'm summing FIFO K, so this is the, the cost, when FIFO A, so this is the reference, the reference is the same one, and when uh, New York, when this is New York, but now that I'm not using New York, I could remove this, and it should work, fine, Control shift down one time, Control D, and now it's working, okay? I think it's working. I hope you try it and you tell me if it's not working because I found this the wrong way. So I don't know if deleting the other one. I think it's a nice exercise, but I think this will work best. I'm sorry for the ones that uh, noticed the error or that it made some errors in your system, but I hope this works a bit better. Okay. And if you, if you find any more mistakes, please let me know. Thank you so much. See you next time.